Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing going to be going through and talking about each of these brand new Gladiator cards dropping today here in NBA 2K24 My Team. Which ones are worth the grind and which ones you should probably stay away from. Before we hop into the video, though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's discuss this brand new Gladiator drop. So this looks like one of the deepest and definitely one of the best drops they have done so far especially of this gambling only content a lot of these cards opal and pink diamond intrigue me a lot so we're gonna give ball a look, we're gonna take a look at all of these today and uh, see which ones are worth getting and which ones you should probably stay away from here in my team start with the lowest ones and we'll start off with Derek lively seven one with a seven foot seven wingspan at the center position gives him elite level size lower three ball than i thought they'd give him i kind of thought they'd go like mid 70s but um, a 66 should be greenable you put a shoe on him you put a couple of shooting badges on him i think he'll be able to knock down open threes at the very minimum at a pretty high level now defensively he should be absolutely phenomenal half anchor brick wall chase down immovable post lockdown rebound chaser etc uh and some good perimeter defensive badges obviously has pretty much everything there as well finishing badges are awesome his release is not incredible neither are his sigs i think his release is okay this card is going to be good i'm a huge mavs fan i like derek lively a lot i think this card will be good and i think it'll be a lot of fun i don't think he's going to be unbelievably great but i think he will be one of the better player market bigs for sure a very viable super solid pink diamond big man now the other two pink diamonds are really interesting james jones is 6 8 with 7 2 it shoots with a 7 2 wingspan at shooting guard i understand he is not an elite athlete 80 driving dunk defensively he is also not exceptional still needs anchor and brick wall doesn't have movable enforcer at all this card needs badges he needs handles for days he needs anchor brick wall clamps glove like he needs all he's just not going to be super complete now the reason that is the case is because offensively he's unbelievable jt throw base kobe up around quick um uh, with really solid sigs besides the pro dribble style he's got steph's drag back and the curry slide as well as the kobe escape he's got some actual legit go-to sigs this card is really interesting with good sigs and elite release and really really incredible shooting ability he is a threat offensively but he definitely need bad needs badges to reach his peak like definitely between like posterizer and then badges like, I guess he doesn't have posterizer at all, does he? So uh, badges like posterizer and then handles for days as well as a bunch of defense is really what's going to be necessary to make this James Jones usable online at like a competitive level. But if you fully badge him, he can, I think, be that way, especially with how good his animations are and how good his release is. Now, Peyton Watson should be a much more complete two-way budget shooting guard. 6'7 with 6'10 wingspan doesn't quite give you the shooting ability, but he still has a good release, still has half agent, three corner specialist, corner specialist, or catch and shoot and limitless range, blow by, speed boost booster gold handles for days half clamps fast feet glove like looking pretty good honestly can't complain his uh next gen badges are not updated yet so hopefully he's got a move gold immovable enforcer actually i'm on the game right now and the cards are already in game because they dropped them so late today so i can literally pull it up and check real quickly to see if he has a movable enforcer uh and the answer is wait does he maybe he does have it on gold hold on hold on hold on he does have gold move enforcer that's a dub so gonna need some badges but this is a six seven versatile defensive shooting guard with a good release not great great sigs but not bad and uh decent fade really really nice release good size versatile budget shooting guard both of these guys a badge james jones and even peyton watson as a base card are both really interesting budget shooting guards scoot henderson is small at 6'2 but he's got a good wingspan he will be super athletic and a very capable shooter great all-around badges obviously the card looks interesting he looks like he can defend pretty well the thing about scoot is i didn't like his release on his first card this year and even on very quick i don't think i'm gonna love the release now Kyrie dribble style zero size up are pretty darn good kd escape is not the best but we can work with it hopefully he's got a good behind the back john wall's drag back is very nice uh pro two fade is also top tier honestly this card would be very fun to use but he's a little short and i don't think his regular standstill jump shot is going to be that great so again i don't think he's going to be top tier jj reddick this card should be athletic yep 95 driving dunk off posterizer i knew he would be because his uh previous ruby had that evo that gave him athletic ability so six through the six three wings minute shoot at point guard is kind of small but He's actually a pretty good defender, even without a movable enforcer. Uh, I understand he's smaller, but he's an exceptional shooter with a really nice release. Sigs wise has D-book dribble style. Harden escape isn't very good. His sigs are not great, great sigs. Release is super nice, but again, I don't know why they're putting normal lean around so many cards, but I don't think it's that good this year. Um, eh. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's not a beast because he is going to be a very fun three hunting PG, but I'm not sure he's a truly top tier elite three hunting PG uh, or just oh, top tier point guard because of his lack of size. Defensively, he'll be good, but not great. 
again, these cards are good, but they're not exceptional. I think Peyton Watson and James Jones are probably the two best so far. Reddick and Scoot are going to lag a little bit behind. Sabonis so has the potential to be the best card that's buyable from today's drop. 75 speed is a little slow. I was kind of hoping that would be 80, but 95 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk, really good interior defender hop, anchor brick wall, move one forcer. Looking at Babis, he will need them. Fast twitch, space creator. Uh, speed booster, maybe handless for days are unpluckable, challenger clans, fast feet, defensive badger, stuff like that. A shoe that boosts up speed, that type of stuff will help as well. But he is 7'3 with a 7'6 wingspan, has very good strength, interior defense, all that type of stuff. Great rebounder, great stretch big shooter as well. This card is very interesting. I don't think he's quite athletic enough to truly counter a Wimby or a KP like the Dark Matters, but I think he can definitely compete. I think if you badge him out and put a shoe on him, he can be a very good all-around card. And I think he's got a lot of versatility as a big, viable big man. Interesting card. Maybe the new best player market big man. We're going to have to try him out and see, but he looks like he very much, very well might be. Amari Stoudemire is free, 6'10 with a 7'1 wingspan, the clutch time online reward. This card looks good. I mean, he's complete badge-wise, has good gold badges in the areas he's missing. He's missing a couple badges, I guess, playmaking-wise, but you can add Veil, that breaks third diamond, that type of stuff. Stats are phenomenal, 94 speed, pretty good shooter. I'm not that worried about that being an 89, because with a shoe, that's a 93, and a coach gets that to a 97, so it's basically perfect anyway. Wish they would have changed his release, I'm not going to lie, but I actually don't think it's that bad. Amari's base on very quick with his upper is not going to be that bad, especially with Kyrie dribble style, Trey escape, probably Jamal Murray behind the back and John Wall's drag back at the small forward position. This is a 6'10 small forward with really, really good SIGs. Um, this card is really good. A super athletic, super complete stat and badge wise small forward who is 6'10 with elite level animations and elite SIGs. Outside of his release, there's almost nothing to complain about with that Amari card. He's going to be an absolute stud. No doubt about it. Now, we got all these Dark Matters as well as 100 overall LeBron to look through. Obviously, I'm not as excited about these, but surprise Lou Dang can't play small forward or shooting guard. He's still a really good 6 line small forward, elite, versatile defender, very nice release. Playmaking wise should be solid. Sigs are, well, I think his escape wasn't bad, actually, if I remember correctly. Um, Trey Fade is top tier, obviously. MJ Dribble style will work. Curry Slide with John Wall's drag back. Great. I mean, this card's good, man. He's really good. Um, I'm surprised he can't play small shooting guard, but he's a very, very good card at the small forward position. Bull Bull is 7-2 with a 7-6 wingspan, 90 speed, 92 three ball. This is probably the best card besides 100 overall LeBron from today's drop, just because of how good he is all the way around. He's super athletic and amazing shooter, really a great playmaker as well, and a great defender. Has gold removable, which is more than enough at 7-2. He's got half handles for days, Ian. Like, they legit gave him SIGs. Well, SIGs may not be quite as good as some of the other SIGs, but they're still pretty good. Hard behind the back, Kobe dribble style. Um, like, he's got some serious SIGs on him. As a 7-2 Dark Matter power forward with a nice release, I mean, this card is dangerous, man. He's really, really good. Obviously, he is one of the best cards for the day. This drop without a doubt. Ewing. This is the card that I most hope they changed a base on today. If they changed one base in today's drop, I hope it's on this Ewing card. Seven foot with a seven three wingspan, uh, 93 speed, 87 three ball. Great all around stats, great all around badges. This card is very, very good all the way around. The main question is, how is his release? And they didn't change his jumper. Oh, man, 2K. Ah, that's not very good then. So his release isn't very good. That's going to hold him back a bit. I don't think he's going to be bad. I think he'll be pretty like a better wilt kind of uh, in a lot of ways would be a pretty fair description of him. Um, similar to Akeem, guys like that. I wish his release was better on very quick. I'm sure it's not awful. And MJ dribble style Kobe escape. Give him some sigs like that behind the back's pretty good as well. That would be nice. I think this Ewing card will still be a very good center. I just think with a better release, he'd be like a truly top tier long term center. Whereas right now, if you get him, it's going to be eh, he's good, but he's not insane. Jason Tatum, 6'8 with a 6'10 wingspan. Um, really complete, of course. I mean, all these cards are, but of course, a card like Tatum is really going to have basically everything. He's not missing a single important badge. Hoffa movable. Um, 96 speed, 97 three ball, 98 driving dunk, and defensively can do everything. Great release. They changed his fade. W, Pro 2 fade is top tier. Steph's dribble style, I don't love love, but Steph escape is good. Not insane, but good. Hopefully, it's a good, good behind the back. The most important thing with Tatum was that they changed his fade, honestly, because everything else about the card already was very solid besides that changed fade. His fade was awful. Now he has maybe the best fade in the game. That's a big deal for Tatum and really does help elevate that card. Devin Booker, 6'5 with a 6'6 wingspan at point guard. Obviously, he's going to be one of the most elite three hunters in the game, and they did actually give this Booker card defense too. Best defensive Booker we've seen in a while for sure. Um, he will hold his own defensively for sure at the PG spot. And offensively, we know he's great. Even with his own six, which I 
I know people loved D-Book SIGs earlier this year, but I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that they're the best SIGs in the game at this point. Like, D-Book Dribble Style is not bad, but it's not the best. His fade is really good with his upper, and he is going to be an awesome 300 for sure. But assuming they changed no SIGs at all, his escape is pretty mediocre. He doesn't have an elite level behind the back. So there are some things you could definitely nitpick with this Booger card. And while I do think he's going to be very good, SGA is definitely better. And honestly, I think you could make an argument for a guy like Gilbert Arenas over him as well, though he will be near the top at the point guard spot. Michael Jordan, this card won't be good unless they changed his base, and they didn't. So this card is not that good. I'm not gonna lie, he's literally his, his 100 overall, but slightly worse. They didn't change his jump shot base, the card is not good. I mean, he's not horrible. He's, he's got good batters and stats, obviously, all the way around. He's basically his 100 overall in pretty much every way. Uh, even his SIGs look like the same SIGs as 100 overall. This is literally 100 overall MJ, except with slightly worse stats and batters, but he's gonna play the exact same as the 100 overall. If you wanted an MJ, this one is much more attainable than the 100 overall, but it's still a gambling only Opal or Dark Matter. So honestly, this is the worst of the Dark Matters today. MJ is easily the worst of the Dark Matters, I think. If I lock in the set and I get MJ, I would be disappointed because he's the one I don't want. I understand he's one of the greatest players of all time, but this card is not that good. And then finally, 100 overall LeBron is 6'9 with a 7 foot wingspan. I mean, obviously he has perfect animations and perfect stats and batters, pretty much. I'm sure they gave him perfect SIGs. He does still have his own release of Pro 2 Fade, which is fine. Uh, perfect SIGs, of course. Kyrie dribble style, Trace size up, or Trace Gabe, Francis size up. Jamal Murray behind the back, I'm sure, and John Wall drag back. Like, good SIGs, good animations, good everything. Card's going to be incredible, no doubt about it. He's 6'8, can play point guard, yada, 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 whatever. 6'9, sorry, can play point guard. He's the best card in the game, or not, maybe not the best card in the game, but he's the best point guard in the game. Uh, obviously, a point guard LeBron is ridiculous at this point in the year 100 overall point guard lebron is the best point guard in the game for sure the thing is the card doesn't exist so like do we really care you're gonna play him like twice the rest of the year this gambling only stuff sucks it does but as long as you just can choose not to buy into it you can still find enjoyment out of the game amari stoudemire is an awesome free reward there are some good viable cards today like sabonis peyton watson james jones even reddick scoot and Dot lively too all of them are at least interesting uh i would not recommend gambling on this drop it is a good drop another good drop uh and i'm sure i will be locking in the set with mt here in a few days but if i pull mj i'm gonna be heated i'm not gonna lie because that card is not very good and i feel like i'm probably gonna pull him because that's the way my luck has been recently but with that being said i hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace